Um, some breaking news in uh, to us just now this morning. It's been confirmed that David Bowie, the singer and musician, has died at the age of 69 this morning. Yes, that news just in the last couple of moments or so. A report saying that he had been suffering from cancer, uh, a career, of course, so many of you will know uh, David Bowie, spanning several decades, had a profound influence, he didn't, didn't he, on uh, music mm. and fashion and also, as well, a really successful acting career as well. But that sad news this morning, uh, just reported, it's been confirmed that the British pop star David Bowie has died at the age of 69. Yes, it's been confirmed uh, by his publicist this morning and uh, online by uh, his son Duncan Jones. Of course, uh, David Bowie, a giant, really, in the world of pop music uh, and in drama as well, but particularly uh, groundbreaking... Uh, with his uh, albums like Ziggy Stardust, Aladdin Sane, Hunky Dory. He really sort of set the pace uh, for so many other uh, singers and musicians in the 70s particularly. And only just recently um, releasing a new album as well. Um, in 1973, I mean, many people thought he was quitting music, but it was Ziggy Stardust mm. that he resigned, uh, sort of, in 1973, wasn't it? Um, changes his persona over so many decades, but mm. such a huge influence on uh, music for so mm. many years as um, well. We do know he had been unwell uh, for some time, but he had produced an album just recently called Black Star, uh, although it was sort of said to be fairly melancholy and just came out a, a few days ago. But um, sadly, uh, we have the news, the news this morning that uh, David Bowie has now passed away. Uh, that news was um, originally announced on his Twitter account mm -hmm. and then uh, confirmed as well by his son on Twitter as well, saying that it was true um, and that he had been suffering from cancer for some time. Well, let's take a moment to look back uh, on David Bowie's life. Here's a report from Mark Redcliffe. Not only is it the last show of the tour, but it's the last show that we'll ever do. When Bowie made this announcement in 1973, many in the audience assumed he was quitting music. But it was only his alter ego, Ziggy Stardust, who bowed out that night. This is ground control to Major Tom. It was just the first of a series of changes of persona which would both entrance and bewilder his fans. Born David Jones in South London, he performed both music and mime before a psychedelia-tinged folk number gave him his first major hit. A subsequent album, Hunky Dory, spawned this hit single with what was to become a trademark video. But it was the incarnation of Ziggy Stardust, the androgynous bisexual rock star from another planet, which brought him star status and broke him in America. Ziggy play guitar, jamming good with weird. Yeah. Spanish guitar. I felt really comfortable going on stage with somebody else. And it seemed a, a, a rational decision to keep on doing that. And so I got quite besotted with the idea of just creating character after character. Is waiting A move to America brought Bowie into contact with the New York art rock movement and performers like Lou Reed and Iggy Pop. It also introduced Bowie to soul music and he redesigned his entire stage show mid-tour to reflect yet another change of direction. If you take this assignment, you'll have complete authority. His time in America also saw his first film role in The Man Who Fell to Earth, Nick Rogue's tale of an alien visitor. It was perfect casting. Buy some of mine. Buy it? That costs naturally. Tiring of American excess, he moved to Germany, where he teamed up with the avant-garde musician Brian Eno. The result? Three critically acclaimed albums that probably represent Bowie's most creative period. He also produced a series of innovative videos which helped fuel the MTV generation. Let's Dance became his most successful album thanks to stylish videos for Let's Dance and China Girl, which turned both songs into top ten hits. He was not, however, entirely comfortable with his commercial success. Artistically and aesthetically, it was, it was probably my lowest point. I don't need any help. 
Let's do it. I've practiced walking for years. His music career stalled in the mid-80s, although he won critical acclaim for his role as a prisoner of war in Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. I don't need that. Musically, the decade ended with Tin Machine, a short-lived and critically panned four-piece rock band. The 1990s saw a revival. He saw the potential of the internet to deliver music very early on, releasing his single Lies from the Earthling album as a download. It was another example of how this multi-talented performer was always ready to strike out in new directions and reinvent both himself and his music. So just to confirm that breaking news for you this morning, it's very sad news. But David Bowie has died at the age of 69 after a battle against cancer. Yes, uh, that news announced this morning on uh, his official Twitter page. And I'll just read to you briefly what it said. It said, David, David Bowie died peacefully today, surrounded by his family after a courageous 18-month battle with cancer. Uh, and it went on to say, while many of you will share in this loss, we ask that you respect the family's privacy during their time of grief. grief. And it was also confirmed by his son as well. Uh, this is what he had to say this morning from Duncan Jones. Very sorry and to sad to say it's true. I'll be offline for a while. Love to all. So obviously we'll have much more on this story uh, throughout uh, the rest of the programme, but uh, let's bring the rest of the morning's news as well now at ten past seven. More than 20,000 insurance...